But I, but at the same, Mr. Durrani, like, we are playing pictures here right now. We ran it here, Bahawalpur. You know, this is where Masood Azhar is. The foreign minister of Pakistan is a straight blanket lie from the foreign minister of Pakistan within one and a half days of saying we know where he is. Cameras have actually captured where he is. I can run the pictures right now on the channel. And the frustration is all this talk, why is it happening? Because Pakistan just seems to be marshalling itself towards doing absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Talking about, oh, we'll, uh, we'll get distracted in the western front. We don't want war. There will be collateral damage. All this talk, while it's done absolutely nothing, and there is going to be so much frustration that the man who's behind all of this, he's released during 814, his house, his picture, the security, the protection is provided, is all captured on camera, as, if, as is Kasav's village. So how long will this doing nothing carry on? Or is that what India should reconcile itself to, in your, in your opinion? No, India should not reconcile to anything that it does not want to. All that we have to do, both the countries, is just to look back over the last 11 years. We have come a long way. We did work out a very good framework for conflict resolution. I believe when it comes to those models, our composite dialogue formula was one of the best ones. One only had to understand and implement it, not, you know, give handle on this formula, on the peace process to some people who are not interested in peace. But more concretely, a couple of years ago, when the two countries said that we are now going to evolve a joint anti-terror mechanism, now that thinking was very good. The spirit was absolutely first class. All that one has to do is, you know, get on with that and also technically is, try and implement General it. Durani, now, all the evidence, all the evidence that, the, in, that India has, I think very rightly, if has, it has such evidence that Pakistan must follow up, then there is a need to get these people involved but, with but, that, but General, share whatever intelligence you think you can, so that both of us can jointly investigate, because there is great interest here no, in no, getting General, to the Gen perpetrators of Mumbai. No, no, but General, General yeah. Dorai, let us tell you, you know very well, as such a seasoned man, I'm sure Air Marshal Tipnis will bear. India does not want to question the sovereignty of Pakistan. That's not the intention, but all this anti-terror mechanism has, uh, has resulted in absolutely nothing, more bloodshed. Uh, Air Marshal Tipnis wanted to respond to you. Go ahead, sir. Please go. No, I think there has to be definite under acceptance on the part of Pakistan that India's uh, security interests, if need be, if there are strikes required to be done, they must be done, but they will be done at a time when we are well prepared to accept that these strikes that we may carry out could well escalate into something more than that. Mm. And I would say that one of the things that India definitely has to understand and get it across to Pakistan mm. also, that a nuclear policy in its present position is, is dangerous. Is, uh, we certainly have to let Pakistan know that if their policy is that they will take a first strike, they have to understand if what? there is any acceptance at all of that, They've, it they've, is disastrous they've, for them. They've kept it ambiguous. They, we, everyone knows Pakistan has kept this whole first that, nuclear that strike the, business very, very ambiguous. Once we go in for strikes, there are no limits. And we the, have to the, make sure that there's a preparation. There is not the time to do it now. No. We have to prepare and Pakistan has to know that our security requirements will be fulfilled at whatever the cost it may be in the long right, run. Right, right, right. But right. not immediately, sure, definitely sure, not. Sure, sure. General Roy Chaudhary, is there any other option before New Delhi except for a strike? Because clearly international pressure hasn't worked. The UN had post, uh, imposed sanctions against uh, Jaish Mohammed and Jamaat Dawa. That hasn't really been uh, uh, effective in any sense in Pakistan. We see that their bank accounts haven't been frozen. So what other option really does New Delhi have at this point? Well, we've got to understand that these pressures on Pakistan will not work because the guiding agency behind these terror stri strikes is the Pakistan army, which remains the de facto government. That's the it will not listen to any suggestions which will defang its strategic allies, the, the militants, like lashkar e taiba and the others. So what is the answer? The answer is that we continue with the standoff and then we start targeting the militants inside Pakistan 
in a in a India's own version of the proxy war. Okay. And that's going to be a very so long drawn measure. Do it covertly and do it over a long period. And that's what you're saying. Exactly. One word okay. From uh, me, okay. Like quick, quick word. Quick word, uh, General. See, I think one of the things that we have to take is the United States is definitely putting on great pressure on Pakistan, and I think it is working to a great extent. Right. What you have to understand that the military, the arming of the military in Pakistan, must stop. Right. They have to make sure that their capabilities are degraded substantially, so they cannot take. A, a strident position. Right. Just one advice that he, what he said uh, here uh, the, to so many journalists that uh, he was all for peace and he will do something that the militants are subdued, are suppressed. He should assert. And more than that, I want the civil society, civil society in Pakistan to come up and assert itself because they are going to assert in favor of peace. Right. And people in this country, people in that country want peace. It is the army there which is not allowing the, the government to function. So they must assert themselves. Just like there was a lawyer strike, similarly civil society should do something to say we stand for peace and we would not allow this thing to happen. Right. And those people who have done Mumbai carnage should be punished. Thank you very much, gentlemen. All of you for joining us on the News Hour debate tonight. Is war the option? Probably not, but the pressure continues to be very much there on Pakistan.